be the latest piece of the puzzle in the search for Mia Marcano. The Seminole County Sheriff's Office had members of its dive team in the water at Lake Monroe Wayside Park throughout the day. I just saw around 8.30, 9 a.m., um, several sheriff's deputy cars, uh, vehicles um, parked on the side on the waterfront and a couple groups of deputies walking up and down the waterfront kind of uh, surveying. It looked like they were searching for something. The Seminole County Sheriff's Office referred us to Orange County. When we asked if this was part of the search for Mia, they told us we do not have any additional details to release and are not able to share specifics of the investigation. What we can share is that we continue to work around the clock to locate Mia. I think all around is a tragedy. I, I hope she returns home safely, but you never know, but we hope for the best and I uh, hope that's not it. Yeah. I hope they were searching for uh, something else. Earlier in the day, investigators were back at Arden Villas, the apartment complex where Mia lives and works. Residents received an email that their garage and storage units would be searched. Mia's family still looking too, walking through the woods and swampy areas for any sign of their loved one. Today's that day where we got up upset. There hasn't been much crying at this point. We're just ready to bring her home, but we need everyone's help. Lara Greenberg, Fox 35 News. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's taking that. He has gloves. He has gloves. He has gloves. He has gloves. In his he has gloves. So like I mentioned earlier, everybody, a new video has surfaced showing a man who appears to match the description of the person of interest in the disappearance of 19 year old college student Mia Marcano. The people who recorded it say that's Armando Caballero that you see carrying some of Marcano's belongings. Marcano has not been seen since last Friday and deputies say Caballero died of an apparent suicide. So so again, this is new video that has emerged over uh, the last several hours here on Live Now from Fox, and we most definitely wanted to bring it to you as we follow this case.